information that we're going to be examining on. So that's, that's the main thing of, of FOCA2 and we're going to go over how just from a URL we, we could take this to the next level. Um, we've created a recursive algorithm that analyzes that URL and the, every URL that you find in the documents to what you're going to see. We've improved the ways of gathering information. We have a new search engine. Uh, we, and the other big thing of FOCA uh, version 2 is that it's been, this tool has been the first step in every penetration testing that we've done for the last year. And then we just thought that it was so convenient that we could kind of improve it a bit and get more stuff into the same framework so that you can continue your work without leaving the platform. So we've started to do some software recognition and some other interesting stuff and of course at the end, uh, a reporting tool to generate what, what you've discovered. So in a minute you're going to see, well you've, you've already seen more or less how the tool looks like. Uh, you've seen that it's pretty easy to use. We, you're going to learn all the new stuff and it's just a very quick session. You're going to be able to generate nice reports and kind of a pretty complete job. So um, the, uh, one of the biggest things that we've done for FOCA in this, in this uh, new version is we've added a new, ver a new search engine. Before we were using just Google and Bing. In this slide you can see that even in the White House if you just use Google you have 332 documents. If you were using just Bing you have a bit more, 330, uh, 375. Now we have a new guy called Exalid and this guy is discovering more than 2,000 documents. So we are combining the data from all these uh, three sources and we have a whole lot, uh, bunch of documents to look at, almost 3,000 for the, for the White House. So, and with what we've been telling you so far, you understand how important it is, the volume. So one document, that's fine. A few thousand documents, we can do a lot of stuff. So this guy is a really nice addition to FOCA. Another feature that we add to FOCA is the PTR scan, scanning. <coughs> the idea is that uh, once you are able to discover an internal IP address of, the, of uh, an internal network, it's possible to connect against the internal DNS, change the, the query type to a PTR, and scanning the internal uh, network segment. So in this example with my university, they love me. Uh, we change, we, we look for the internal DNS, we change the DNS to Neptuno, and we change the PTR, the query type to PTR. Since that moment, we can uh, throw queries to that DNS like this. In this example, as you can see, it's an internal IP address. It's the 192.168.4621. Uh, and the internal server is responding us with the name of the of the server it's just an IP address we can get the the name server and ask for the internal IP address and of course with with the whole segment now this is included uh, in FOCA 2.5 and talking about IP addresses, once we have an IP address, we would like to know how many domains have, are being served from that IP address. So there's a nice feature in Bing uh, where you do IP colon and then IP, and then you get every virtual domain or uh, alias that you are serving from that. So for shared hostings and stuff, or uh, that's that's how we do it. Um, Shodan is something that we really love. I guess most of you, if not all of you, will know Shodan by now. It is a search engine for uh, banners. Like when you go to HTTP and you do like a get or a head, you get the information about the server or an FTP or every possible thing that you can imagine is there. So if, when you're doing a penetration testing and you want to go to this first stage of gathering information, you don't even have to run a scanner vulnerability, a vulnerability scanner against the organization. You just go to Shodan and they have everything indexed for you. If you're not targeting anything specific, you just go to Shodan and say, I want an IES version 5 or I want an Y Apache, an Apache 2.0 whichever, because you know that there's a vulnerability in there, then you have it. Um, we started using Shodan in FOCA, uh, kind of parsing the web results, but we were, FOCA was becoming pretty popular, we were increasing the traffic, so we actually contacted John, the, the guy who wrote Shodan. He, we asked for permission basically to, to keep using the, ser the service and not only he was pleased with the idea but he created a JSON feed for us. So now it's even nicer, uh, an even nicer integration and there you can see that we have all the information that we want like IP addresses and sh software, all the stuff that we've been talking about. So what's the idea with FOCA? The idea with FOCA is that before 
download the file and extract the metadata, we can do a lot of things with the URL. In this example, there is a URL with a, a document on it. As you can see, it's a Microsoft.document. But the URL is giving us a lot of information that we can, uh, we can use, so let's use it. First of all, it's an HTTP, so it's a server. So let's get the banner and extract information from that from that server. Then we got a domain. That domain we can use it uh, to discover in which part of the network is one of those servers that we weren't able to allocate into the network ne map. So it's good for us to discover all the domains that we can. So domain.com is a domain. Of course, if we got the domain, uh, we can also get the name server, the mail exchanger, and the information in the SPF uh, record about IP address of internal servers. Of course, we can do the same with the subdomain. We can try to discover more IP address of the internal server and try to verify all the non-allocated uh, servers that we discovered with the metadata. So we can try server, if we discover that there is a printer in slash slash server 01 slash printer 1, we can try to discover if server 1 is in ser is server 1 domain.com or server 1 subdomain.com. Of course, Apple 1 is a host name and Apple 1 is, a, is, an, is the name of, of a server. So we can try to a DNS prediction looking for Apple 1 to Apple 10 and so on, and we can do the same with the Google sets. We can ask, for, ask to Google a list of related words to Apple and try to discover uh, more servers. Uh, and there's n it's not only the information that you can see in the URL, it's also the information that you cannot see. There is an IP address associated to that. So we're going to resolve, uh, reverse resolve the IP address. We're going to get the banner of the server uh, by, uh, by using the IP address and not the uh, domain that we were using before. Once we have the IP, we're going to use Bing IP to get the information and all the domains that are sharing that, that server. And we're going to repeat that for every domain that we just found. Uh, we're going to connect to the internal network servers with all the information that we just got, all those IPs, and kind of do all the things, uh, all the same again. PTR scans on everything that we've just discovered, and for every uh, thing that, ev absolutely everything that we've just discovered, and all those steps, we're going to try for every every new URL that appears, we're going to uh, repeat the algorithm. Um, then more stuff that there's there is we're going to look for patterns in the URL itself. We've been doing this for, meta for the data, so we're going to do it in the URL. Like You have a possible username there, so we're going to use that. And of course, the, also we have path in, on, in the URL, so we got three paths in the URL that we can try the directory listing. That is good if you are doing a penetration test. Of course, we can search for unsecured methods. We can try to discover if, if put, delete, delete, or trace methods are available on every path. We can fingerprint the web server using 404 error mes messages. We can try to fingerprint the, the software looking for uh, application error messages. We can try a dictionary attack with a list of names uh, uh, on all of, all of the domains that we discover. We can try the sound transfer, and we can search for any URL indexed on Google related to this host name and do the same. And of course, then we can try to download the file, extract the metadata, hidden info and lost data, sort all this information in a nicely way. Yeah. So the, the problem with this is that we've just converted FOCA in something massively difficult. It's like there's 30 steps there that you have to know how to do. There's hack, hard, hardcore hacker stuff here. It's, I mean, I guess the interface of FOCA now is really complicated to do this, right? As you know, I'm a Microsoft guy, so there is a big button on FOCA. You only have to click on it, and FOCA does everything for you. That's, That's nice. Awesome. That's good. All right. Uh, so since we just saw that analyzing the URL from the, so the document is coming from this URL, and we've been analyzing that URL and see how powerful was that. We just thought that every possible URL is going to be interesting. So we've added uh, FOCA the possibility of just crawling more and more URLs. Uh, we've added a couple of setup uh, and properties panels. And then in, this is a screenshot of, of one panel where you can set up a few of the options that you want to use for pretty much everything that we've been describing so far. So like web search and DNS search and all that stuff. Um, and of course, the, the algorithm uh, is going to work by itself with that search all button. 
but then there's stuff that might be time consuming. There's stuff that you know that you're not in interested in for some reason in this particular uh, penetration testing, or even a stuff that is illegal in your country, like a zone transfer. So there's these panels of properties where you can basically customize everything. So let's do a demo with the White House, <laughs> not go. You know we can get in trouble. Yes, we can. <laughs> Well, let's do a quick demo with, uh, with the White House. This is the, oh, this is the girl. <laughs> this is the demo that we did before with the metadata extracting from the documents. As you can see, all documents uh, are uh, locally stored. So it's on my laptop. I'm going to delete everything <laughs> after this talk. And we are going to create a new project with the White House. Dot gov, why, house, dot gov, and then we are going to create the project and just clicking this magic button which said <laughs> search all. So we only have to, to click the button, search all. FOCA is now searching for the documents on the internet using Google, Bing, Exalit, and as you can see, there is a big list of links. We didn't even download the documents. As you can see, the documents are still on the, on the web server, but FOCA is analyzing the URL. So if we go to this new panel, network data, we can see that there are a lot of information that FOCA had been collecting from the URLs. So for instance, we got that White House is using two IP address, and there are another server called M, Q, M, oh, I like it which is using two IP addresses. There, there is a special server called APP2. And of course, FOCA had been analyzing a lot of information at the same, at the same time. So if we click in, which, in this domain, as you can see, there is a bottom panel, which uh, is being used to collect all the information. And FOCA is looking for all the paths in the URL, looking for all the documents related to this web server, looking for directory listing, and looking for unsecured methods. This is automatically. So we just click in and search all. And in this example, in the White House, in APP2, there is four unsecured methods in, in one path. So you can put a file. We can upload a web <laughs> a file on the server, and so on. Well, just clicking the button, that's all. So. <laughs> let's stop this, uh, this project and let's do another one with the Spanish Linux. <laughs> Wada Linux.org. And we are going to do the same in this example. There are only a few documents, 60 or 70 documents. And this is quite nice because uh, FOCA, FOCA is working. <laughs> and at the same time, FOCA is analyzing the information of whole documents. And this is Guadalines. As you can see, there are directory listing that you can open automatically and set for all. There are 33 unsecure methods on the server. You can do a lot of things. You can do, do it manually, but FOCA does for you. You don't have to worry at all. And of course, if you wanna, if you wanna do this, but not, not only searching documents, you can go to the DNS search panel, search for the options, and just click this other big button which says start. <laughs> start. So start, and now FOCA is working. Four guys working. Let's see the options. I would like to fingerprinting. Okay. As you can see, Foga is trying right now Google sets inside the algorithm. And if you have a look to the log, you can see what Foga is doing. Basic, basically, Foga is doing all the things that we've been presenting five minutes ago. It's looking on Bing, it's trying to resolve uh, all the internal the, uh, IP address with the PTR scanner, it's using Sodan, it's resolving it. FOCA is working, FOCA is working. And that's all. And you got three different views. 
one for the internal network, for the network, not only the internal, another one only for the domains, another one for the IP.